Hi fans, we're getting set up. And we're live. And we're live. And we're live. You know what this hat means, fans? It's chefing time. You know, this is gonna be like one of those videos that ends up on the internet, like that with a creepy channel soon. They're like, during this video, you see a creepy figure walking behind the camera. <laughs> Hold on. Thank you for your space. We're here to bring you some laughter. And sauce. We brought tons of sauce. So much sauce. Do yes. you want to introduce what we're doing today? We are, uh, we are having a sampler platter of different versions of sauces depending on your socioeconomic class. Yeah, basically. Just testing different spaghetti sauces and see which tastes the best. Mine was more interesting than that. I went to like a bougie place, Whole Foods. I bought the top most expensive, the mid-tier expensive, and the bottom expensive. And then we went to Target. What are we doing? We're, we're acquiring sauces. To get top, most, most expensive, middle. middle expensive, and bottom expensive. All of marinara except, yep. oop, we got a wild card. A little secret, little secret high end. We found a black truffle rabiata. Damn, you're, you're letting the secret fly early, huh? Yeah. Damn, all right. Fly early, fly often. Fly truly. And, fly American. And was that a new water bottle? Nope. Okay. And <laughs> I brought noodles. Ooh, warm. See, very warm. I put a heat pack in here. And I brought bread. So do we have containers in which to apply the sauce? No, What's actually, that? I forgot about that. Okay, so this might be a challenge. No. Okay. We also got candy, but that'll be a secret for later. And then we have our chaser drinks. Here's the wild card. Sam's the wild card. Oh, I get it. We're here to honor the dead by serving them some real spaghetti. Yeah, this is probably the first time they've hung out around somebody eating spaghetti in a, in a, in a while. For a long time. Okay. The leaf just fell on me, it's an omen. Yes! Friendship. And with the power of friendship, we can find the best spaghetti sauce ever. That was so smooth. I hope so. Okay, let me write these down first and then I'll say what we have. You don't mind if I, uh... No, man, go for it. Accept it later. This is a smoking channel after all. This is a smoking, this is true. So, from cheapest to most expensive, we have Good and Gather. Marinara for one dollar fifty nine cents, and it's in a nice container. Then from Whole Foods we have three six five Whole Foods Market organic marinara pasta sauce at two dollars and thirty nine cents, and it's organic, a steal for organic foods. I think organic's kind of a scam. Anyways, I agree. Okay, mid tier from Target we have Born Simple traditional marinara in a box. We're simple. Simple as that. I find it interesting how the marinara in a box is more expensive than multiple of the cheaper ones. <laughs> it better be it better be a good ass marinara in there, I gotta say. We got tired <coughs> of grocery store aisles cluttered with overhyped products screaming at us about 101 different attributes. We started Born Simple to cut through that noise with products that just work better. No fluff, no clutter. Our traditional marinara tastes just like you would hope. Sweet from California tomatoes and savory thanks to generous helping of extra virgin olive oil, herbs, and spices. This package is up to 90% lighter than glass. Scan here to learn more why that matters and find out more about our commitment to holistic sustainability. I will tell you though, once you open this one, you can't close it again. We'll just have to drink it. Okay. Mid-tier from Whole Foods. I will say, preface, this has been the star favorite of mine so far in my adventures of trying pasta sauce. So you're not a, you're not, you're not a stranger to pasta sauce. Because after I went to Italy, I was trying to find something as similar to the pasta sauce I had there. That won't be easy. It was not easy. This is as similar as I could find so far. Lucchini Tuscan Tomato Marinara. So I do have a bias that I want to, that I want to point out. I'm ready. I do not particularly like sweet marinara sauce. I don't either. Okay. This one was $5.99 at Whole Foods. They used to have bigger jars that were more expensive, now they have smaller jars that are a little less expensive. High tier from Target, Carboni Marinara. And that's a cool label right there. Struck rock over. <laughs> but it's got American cars on it, and God damn it. How do you know about that? Because that's a, that's a Chevrolet. Whoa. And that appears to be also a Chevrolet. Is marinara not Italian? Should there not be Italian cars on the, on the, on the picture? Maybe these are Italian immigrants in America. Sure, but are there not Italian cars in America? 
You tell me. Yes, there are. Top tier from Whole Foods, big jar. That's a big I, ass jar. This Michaels of Brooklyn marinara socks. Then we have the wild card from Target because this is not marinara, but it was the most expensive. The Truff pasta sauce black trouble arrabbiata. Pronounced fantastically. Well, Man, grazie, if I may say. As we review each sauce, we will taste. Do it. Inspect ingredients. Discuss. And then at the end, we'll, we'll choose our favorites. First, let's make some predictions. Okay. I'm looking for something similar to like a crushed tomato with flavor. What are you looking for? Tell everyone your story. Okay, yes. So, I love spaghetti. It's my favorite food. The reason why it's my favorite food is because my mother used to be married to this Italian man. Weren't we all? <laughs> right? His family made delicious pasta. They made marinara sauce by aging it really a lot. They aged that shit. They put it in a fucking pot and they stir it for like 48 hours and it's like delicious, seemingly real Italian food. I don't know. I'm not Italian. I don't know. But um, it's my favorite sauce in the world. It's not sweet and I prefer chunky-ish sauce. You like a chunk. What are your thoughts on sugar in sauces? I think it would depend on how it affects the flavor. Because I know there's a scientific thing to sugar being in a sauce. Yeah, you're supposed to put a little sugar in sauce, is my understanding. Yeah. Are you looking at that car? It's a, yeah, it's a Chevy Cobalt that somebody has probably removed the catalytic converter from, and it's very pathetic. Wait, that's dangerous. No. It's not? It's just bad for the environment. So I guess dangerous. Wait, but I thought people stealing catalytic converters is bad. It is bad, because there's like gold and shit in them. Well, yeah, but your car goes... <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I don't know about sugar and sauces. Sound off below. Is it correct? Do Ital real Italians put sugar in sauces? Or is it just an American thing because the sugar industry has been over-subsidized by the American government? I'm pretty sure the Italians also put sugar in their sauce. Okay, well then let's find out what's in these, maybe. What's in these, maybe. Play it on your guitar. <laughs> You're, that's close. So what's your prediction for your favorite sauce? Mine, I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be this one because I see the nice oil and slick flavor in there, but this one is really speaking to me. So how about you? Which one do you think is gonna be best? So I'm going to predict what I obviously think is gonna be the best and also what I think I'm going to hate. Oh, okay. I, um, can I see what I'm gonna hate? Yes. I think I'm gonna hate the box. It might just be aesthetic, I don't know. I think I'm going to dislike this. I think I'm not really? going to like the trough. And then the one I think I'm gonna like the most is probably, uh, I, I'm kind of with you, it's probably between these two. I think so. It might just be the branding. It might be honest. because this I, one makes it feel like, oh, it comes from one place in Brooklyn, this one yep. comes from like the restaurant. And it and looks seeing, homemade. It does, and I'm seeing chunks within. You like the chunks. And I like the I'm chunks. I'm not opposed. By the way, another problem with the box, we don't know what the texture of the sauce is. We don't. Is. Maybe that's what it is, we can't see the sauce. Would you like to crack open our chasers? Yes. I don't know if I should shake mine. You probably shouldn't shake yours. Oh, so shake gently. Oh. One, two, two three. three. Cheers. Cheers. Clink. Clink. This is fine. I don't like this. <laughs> Hold on. Stop. Hold on. Pause. Yeah. We went to Target and Sam said, oh, I love yogurt drinks. Yes, I see the ones I like. Pick this one up. Yup, this is the one. That is what happened. You've had this before. No. Oh. I have had Chobani yogurt drinks before, and I like mango. Oh, I okay. usually get the strawberry flavor, but they only had strawberry banana. I don't like strawberry banana. I don't either. I want just it's strawberry. It's not fruit enough. Yeah. It's not wet enough. It's a dry fruit. I'd rather just have a banana. <gasps> They're playing volleyball. Is it going to be like the Top Gun scene where it's like, where it's like extremely oh, homoerotic? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. First up, lowest from Target. Are we just gonna like take a handful of noodles and dip it in the sauce? I don't know, because I figured that the, the concept was we were gonna have like a little container. You know, I thought so too. Kinda, it's kinda nutted kind of the goat on that one. Let me think about this. What do I have in my car that would be like a bowl receptacle? I have a portable ping pong set. You think they'd want to play portable ping pong? Um. Oh, they're definitely gonna have sex later. Yeah. No, I got an idea. What? Is it just gonna be a little dip or a little pour or what? 
Okay. Yep. That was that was my thought as well. Maybe that'll work. Okay. Yeah. That'll that'll work. We also have to be clear that the sauce is not hot. It's room temperature. It, we just bought it from the store. So that would mean that it's probably not at its best. Neither am I. And now for consistency as well, I'm gonna give this a shake. Mm. Smell. We're gonna do a smell. Smell. This smells like a childhood spaghetti night. Does it? Totally does. Absolutely does. Yeah, like this is gonna Absolutely this does. is gonna stain the I bowl know. orange. I yeah. yeah. <laughs> and your fingers and your tongue and your teeth. Fingers, tongue and teeth, eyes, ears, mouth and nose. Yeah. Hand, foot, and mouth disease. Hand, foot, and mouth disease. Who cares if there's noodles left in there? It's fine. Yeah. It tastes exactly what I was expecting. Yeah. It's definitely the kind of sauce that I would be okay with having with spaghetti. Mm -hmm. As an occasionally lazy food maker, dare yeah. I say I'd buy that for myself. Okay, let's look at the ingredients. That might be the dude in me showing, however. That is. We got tomato puree, diced tomatoes in tomato juice, nola oil, not olive oil. Contains less than 1% of salt, dehydrated onions, dehydrated garlic, spice, citric acid, dehydrated parsley. Pretty stand. Ready for my chaser. Yep. My chaser does not help with thirst. Moving on, okay, yep. Low tier from Whole Foods. I'm excited for this one, to be honest. Give it a shake. Would you like to do the honors? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you think the ghosts are laughing with us? Yes. Ooh, okay, smell? Oh yeah. This has more depth. It does. This is making me excited. That smell made me excited. There's a lack of taste. I think I can agree with that. Like, you get the basil. Let me go again. I have to go again. I know what you mean. However, this is way better than the other one. Yeah, it's way better. The other one just takes, I mean, it tastes cheap, but. This stuff tastes cheap? Or mm -hmm. that stu yeah, no. that stuff tastes cheap. This does not taste cheap. No, this tastes like a restaurant one. Yeah. If I, I like this one. No, there is enough tomato. I, I take back. There's not as much salt. This one feels more fresh. More fresh. More. It does, it's organic, Organic. you would say. I would much rather have this sauce. Me too. I'm, I'm like into this now. I thought within the first sauce I was gonna have something that I hated, to be honest. I will admit, I'm pretty picky with sauces. And so far I have not disliked any of these sauces, even though we've only had two. However, the second one, as we say, much better. Much better. All right, next one. We have our mid-tier from Target. I am nervous about I this I am one. also nervous about this one. That's the one I am second most nervous about. You wanna touch it and, uh, and shake it? I get, I'm guessing it's gonna be cold in here too for some reason. For some reason. This makes me think we are astronauts. I don't wanna be an astronaut. I don't either. You lift flaps, you squeeze, and you tear. I don't know why this is so unappetizing to me. You just... I think I'm falling victim to, like, packaging marketing. I think so, man. It kind of looks like slop in there. Oh, I don't like it. Uh-oh. No. You know what it smells like? It doesn't smell like food. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like the pizza Lunchable sauce. It does. It does. That's why it doesn't smell like food. Speaking of, pizza Lunchable gummy candy. This is going to probably not be very good. I think it'll be better than this. Oh, it'll be better than this. <laughs> Maybe I didn't... I'm gonna try to shake it. It looks like meat slop and it smells like plastic. I have a I have a fork full of pasta and I, I have okay. a curiosity. Okay, to okay. It's probably not that. Ooh! Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought it'd be, but it's not good. Yeah, that that was that was my thought. It it's doesn't. It's very like vinegary. Something's overpowering everything. I don't know exactly what it is. All right, let's see what's in here. It's making my mouth water, not in a good way. Yeah. It says there's four servings per container, but I would not want to eat more than I did. Tomatoes and juice with a star next to it. What does the star mean? Not a low calorie food. I didn't need. That. <laughs> what? I didn't need that. Diced tomatoes, tomato juice, citric acid, calcium chloride. Water, comma, tomato paste with a star. Oh, sorry, this indicates organic ingredients. Okay, that makes more sense. Tomato paste, onions, extra virgin olive oil, garlic, sea salt, basil, oregano. Did we not get like down enough? No, you, you, you're, you, you just soaked your whole ass fork in that. What are you gonna do about that? Eat. <laughs> a good spaghetti sauce, you'll lick it without a noodle. Right, which is what I did for the last two. Last two, yeah. I don't want to lick this without oh, a fucking, noodle. Damn it, I've gotten the sauce in the fucking bag. You've contaminated it! Like, it's not terrible. And what are you gonna do, leave this on the counter? You can't even put it back in the fridge. You can't reseal it at all. No, you would have to put it in a Tupperware, which is fine. I guess. Now, mid-tier of Whole Foods. This is, this is the one that has been my tried and true. What's it called? Lucini. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. There we go. Mmm. I, I want to lick it. Am I biased? I can't really smell it. What's wrong with me? 
I've had this one before. I have not. <laughs> I think I like the cheaper Whole Foods one better. I do too. I feel like I need another, 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 another try here because I liked it, but I don't really know. I, I feel like I'm, I, I feel a little bit indifferent to the sauce. Yeah. It's fine. It tastes like how it smells to me, which is like, mm. I barely, I can barely sense it. But you know what? I want to lick the sauce off the fork. Which okay. is more than we can say about the about the box. Ab what if we are being tricked by the box? Yes. What if our brains are making that taste for It's us? part of this. I am man. almost convinced. Okay, after this, you go hide in the car. I'm gonna make up some dollops on the table and we'll just do a taste with the fork. I like that idea. And it'll be blind for you. Okay. Okay. I've realized something. Of the Lucini variety, I've only ever had I think the tomato basil. I can't be sure though because they've rebranded and changed the names of things. Because this one tastes different than what I've had before. doesn't taste the same. It's letting the tomato sing on its own. <laughs> yes. I don't know what it is about it. I couldn't taste it very much. It tastes very weak to me. There's no strong additional flavors. Ingredients. Tomatoes, vegetables, as in carrots, onions, celery, sea salt, and organic basil. That's so not it. a lot of ingredients. That's it. That would make sense. That probably speaks towards my American palate a little bit. We're onto the top tier. We're, 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 we're powering through this. I'm gonna say something that's very fucked up, but it's true. What? You know what's surprisingly good with tomato sauce and marinara sauce? What? Peanut butter. Like you have peanut butter on bread and then you dip it into marinara sauce. It really? actually tastes good. Really? Maybe, uh, maybe not to everybody, yeah. I also want to dip bread in that at the end too. Actually, give it to me right now. I've just flipped off the sauce, but I need to make sure. Just a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. No. Ugh. No, it's. It's I, really not good. I think good. it might be the box. Because it's got like some like. It's got like a plasticky smell. Tastes plasticky too. Like there's a coating on the inside of the box. I don't know what else it would be. Because it has all the ingredients to be fine. But sometimes it's the, you know, the way it's made makes it not as fine. Sometimes. Okay, high end from Whole Foods. I'm really excited. Me too, me too. Would you like to do the honors, strong boy? Yeah, I'm so strong. No. Oh. <gasps> you can't smell it? No. Oh! Let me try hold again. Hold on, hold okay. on. Okay. There's something familiar about it, but like in a non-familiar way. I want to play volleyball. There it is. I'm thinking the price is hyping us up for this. It doesn't smell as sweet though. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. That's good. It's not sweet it's at all. Leagues above the rest. So far, absolutely. I, yeah, I need another dip of that. Yep. This is it. Fuck yeah, that's good. Oh, can you imagine like really thick spaghetti noodles just wrapped in this? Mm. Or like ravioli? Mmm! I fuck with that, for sure. God damn. I could have pizza with that sauce. You could have pizza with that. Ooh, add a little spice. Mm hmm Damn. That's it. Tomatoes. And it doesn't, it doesn't need to say crushed tomatoes in water. No, it just says tomatoes. Yeah, true. Fresh garlic, fresh basil, Italian olive oil. That could be making a difference. Oregano, parsley, and spices dash nothing else. Three exclamation points. Three exclamation points. My hypothesis is that the garlic is what's making it taste so much better. Garlic makes almost everything taste better. There were there wasn't if if there was it wasn't enough in any of these. Yeah. And the, the sauce that that my mom makes has garlic. It's got How garlic. How many cloves? I have no idea. Okay. This is our top tier at Target. There it goes. Okay, I have a thought. I want you to smell it first. I like the smell. See, I don't think I like the smell. I, I think it smells like the cheaper ones. It's it, it does smell like the cheaper ones, you're right. It, oh my god, now that you said that, that's all I can smell. It smells exactly like the first tier. It does look really oily. And I don't mind an oily. It's good. I like it. It tastes like a higher end version of the first sauce mm -hmm. though. I bet this is way better warm. Yeah, this one would be good. I think I still like the other one better though. I do too. The one before this one? Yeah. I absolutely agree. That one has more depth. This one's just like, we get the flavor. It's a very safe flavor. Middle school cafeteria sauce, plus a little extra. Imported Italian tomatoes, parenthesis, whole peeled tomatoes, tomato puree, sea salt, basil, onions, olive oil, sea salt, 
basil, garlic, oregano. This one's definitely gonna turn your bowl orange. But this is one isn't as an orange. Uh-uh. This, this feels premium. This feels fresh. It does, yeah. Michael's of Brooklyn. M-O-B! M-O-B! Michael's of Brooklyn. Uh, uh, uh. Now we're on to our last, the, the wild card. And the one that I am the most skeptical of. It has a plastic seal. What do you think that means? More plastic. That's okay. That. The marketing here seems very geared towards millennials. Feels like I live in a sad, soulless world. Like if this was on a box, box of sauce, yeah. I'd be like, yeah, it looks like a box of sauce. Yeah, much like the box the of box sauce. The box of sauce. Yes. I am nervous about this one. I really don't think I'm going to like this. I think I'm going to like it. I've never been a truffle gal, though. It smells very strongly of truffle. I don't think I like truffle. <laughs> it, smells like, it smells like dust. I I want to gag almost. Really? You might hate this more than I do. But I also gag when I rinse out my spaghetti bowl in the sink. <laughs> like wet tomatoes makes me gag. It is pretty gross. I'm gonna give it a try. Get a nice healthy dip here. I made too many noodles. If you would like me to send you this bag of noodles, comment down below your favorite thing about me and I'll choose the best comment. It's a little spicy. First, I want to establish the spice hits you right away. Mm -hmm. And that's because this is an arabia. That's Italian for spicy. Yeah, probably. Da -da 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 -da. Wait, let me take another little. I don't think I like this. Tomatoes, tomato puree, olive oil infused with black truffle essence, yellow onion, organic agave nectar, water, basil, garlic, black truffle salt, sea salt, black winter truffle, tuber melon, melanosporum. Sounds like that fungus. Yeah. Tomato paste, chili pepper, oregano, black pepper. That sauce is pretty fucking good. I like that sauce. I like the spice. I do too. If it weren't for the spice, I wouldn't like it. But is it potentially not fair because this isn't marinara? Oh yeah, it's not fair. I, I am honestly surprised by how much I like. I think that actually might be my favorite of the, of the, of the group. Really? Yeah. And it's because it tastes like truffle and I like truffle. If this didn't have the spice, it would be fine. But I think the spice is what makes it. I agree. The spice definitely adds a lot of a lot of this. So now that we've found our favorite sauce, which is Michaels of Brooklyn. Michaels of Brooklyn. We now have to try it with the ultimate noodle, which would be gummy noodles. Sweet, sour, and delicious. There's strawberry. Okay. Blueberry. Okay. Watermelon, green apple. Cool. So I like half of the flavors. Can I guess which ones you like? Yeah. You like strawberry and blueberry. That is correct. Got it. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Okay, it's gross, but it's not as gross as I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> this is nasty. Mm -hmm. Your favorite's this one though, right? I don't, uh, yeah, I guess I gotta try that, don't I? This is gonna be really bad. Yeah. Bad. I'm gonna dip two in there. It's really bad. Oh God. It's really bad. Oh. 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 That's the worst combination of flavors. Oh. Okay. Sam, yes. while I set up this blind taste test for you, mm -hmm. I want you to go hide somewhere, maybe behind a grave. Review your gummy pizza. I don't know. I have this whole thing that like relates to my anxiety where I'm like convinced that I'm gonna die early. Why do you think that is? I don't know. Okay, um, have fun. I'm nice. gonna go. Are we rolling? Yep. All right guys, well here we are um, amongst the dead. Uh, we are going to try um, a Lunchables pizza gummy um, while Lydia prepares my uh, secret taste test. Now, observe, it actually does look quite a lot like a normal Lunchables pizza, except it has a very, like, I don't know, kind of scary looking um, red goop packet, which I don't want to spill because I feel like I'm already being disrespectful enough hanging around these uh, hanging around these folks, but you know what, that, that is what it is. I'm trying to peel this open here. This packaging so far has been very tough. It's been taking me forever to open. We have our variety of ingredients here. We have our pepperonis, our cheeses, and our like dough patties or whatever. I guess, uh, what would that be? Pizzas, pizza dough. And my God, this packaging is brutal. Here we go. Okay, this is this mysterious goop packet, which I'm nervous about. But we're gonna try each of these on their own. So this little piece of cheese here. It's not, it obviously does not taste like cheese. It kind of just tastes like your most generic gummy ever. And this is kind of a strawberry flavor. I think what I'm gonna do, now that I've tried these, and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll take a little bite of a, these are like the big, big pizza, pizza pies. Okay, 
if you've ever had the Krabby Patty uh, gummies, that's what the that's what the pizza the the pizza pie tastes like. The packaging is absolutely unforgiving. So I guess I'm just gonna pour it on the pizza. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, we're gonna put our ingredients right. Okay, so they're slipping. My thoughts were the were that the ingredients would stick. They're sliding off of my 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 dough here. So try and get a little scoopage. This looks really nasty. It is very, very sweet. Overwhelmingly sweet. This red goo really is something. But you know what? Maybe it's the child in me, but I don't want to stop eating it. I tell you what, it tastes pretty good. It doesn't taste good. If I was to rate this out of 10, I would probably give it a five what? at most. Yeah. Is it good? Not Ooh, why really. Why is it drippy? Is the sauce like gel? Yeah. Try it, there's still half of it left. Ew, ew, it looks like I'm eating skin. Ew! This is skin. Try it. I want. I want to see what you're here. Get in. Get in frame. My hands are it very sticky. It doesn't stick on here. No. And I'm wondering if it was, if it wasn't as hot. Ah! It melted off. Do they have? Does this taste different than the red? Yeah. I think I'd throw up. It's like coated in something weird. Yeah, it tastes like plastic a little bit. It's obviously the most processed shit you could possibly eat. Of course. Mm. No. My thoughts exactly. 10 for novelty, five for taste. Yeah. Sealed for your protection. Yep, Thanks. sealed for your pleasure. Thanks for, this has been, this has been? The subsection of Lunchables Gummy Pizza. Okay, time for the blind taste test. Okay. okay, that better be the box shit because that was like nasty. And there's this one. Man, this looks so gross with them all dripping down. That one's okay. I will admit, it is deeply unappetizing to be eating all these sauces this way. So. <laughs> that one's not as bad though. I think that one might be the, be the one of the better ones, if not the best one. Okay. Uh, I don't like <laughs> this one. Looks. I don't know why I'm scared for this one. I don't know, that one's not bad, actually. I don't hate that one as much. I don't hate that one either, though. I think that one might be my favorite of the bunch. Really? Maybe. I don't know, I, I shouldn't be casting those those view, those viewpoints. I'm just trying, I, I wanna know if it's the, if the, I still hate the box one more than anything, okay. you know what I mean? Okay, keep going. That's fucking nasty. Which one was that? This one. <laughs> okay. I, you know, I'm, you know what I'm worried about? What? All of my opinions are going to be totally different now that I'm trying this. And I get the feeling they will be because of how fucking gross it is to Feel free to use the chaser. Yeah, okay. All right, last one. That's the worst one. <laughs> that, that one's the fucking worst one. Ugh. Do you want to know which is which? Okay. I do have a guess. Okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's place guesses. The target one is this. This one. The, the nicest, best one? The Michaels? Is this one. Okay. I think this one is that. Pretty sure the box was this one. It was this, this is the last one, right? Yeah. I don't remember what the last one was, but whatever, whichever one I didn't guess was that one. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Top left, organic marinara from Whole Foods. The low tier Whole Foods. Okay. This one? Yeah. Lucini, mid tier from Whole Foods. Okay. This one? Yeah. Carbone. Okay. This one? Uh-huh. Target cheap one. Okay. You saw it. This one was the worst and this one was the best. Is that what, is that right? Yeah. Was the box the best one? It was? So maybe my hypothesis is right. Michael's of Brooklyn. Weird! That makes me wonder so many things now. Is it because it's like dripping and like nasty? I mean it looks like shit! Or is it just because the box fucked up my perception of it? Or is it because in, on a fork it's better or what? But if my favorite was the box, that does lead me to believe that I might be swayed by the packaging. I think that's inherently what's gonna happen. Yeah. Damn, what a, what a twist. What a twist. What a twist. What a twist. Fans, we want to thank you for coming on this journey with us. We know it wasn't an easy one. Mm -mm. Trials, tribulations. Pain. Pain. Blood. Blood. Vomit. Vomit. Mm -hmm. We want to thank you for sticking with us. You know, you're, you're the real... Um... You're the real soldiers in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Braver, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what you think below. Would you like a more formalized and 
like in kitchen with bowls and like here's a whole bowl with it mixed we'll in do really it. well. We'll, we'll do, do it. it. You just gotta say yes. Just just type in yes. And nothing else. Nothing else. Just type in yes. Mm -hmm. That was uh, that was an experience. It's starting to smell. It is. I don't want to. I don't want to smell this anymore. <laughs> I never want spaghetti again. I just kind of do. <laughs> Bye, fuckers. Bye, fuckers. Love you. Uh, Not really. Are you gonna do a screenshot? shot? Yeah. Why'd you put your lunchbox in the trash bag? Well, I'm just gonna go through it later. Oh. Bye. Click.